I'll start that by loading the scene from the disk. I'll replace that. And then here on the, where, on the graph editor where it says selected items, I'll change that to use item list. And then here on frame 14, I'll uh, pick the breakdown slider and grab and just drag that uh, between the two. As you can see, I'm creating a key, a new keyframe here on this frame, which uh, favors either the first key or the second. So I'll leave that about uh, 0.4 here. And then uh, now we're going to use the breakdown slider to just work on the on the left arm. So I'll click the upper arm to the hand and then here again I'll choose selected items and now the breakdown slider will just function on those selected items instead of the whole character set that I had previously. Um, so I'll choose uh, something like 0.2 roughly. Um, this will delay that this left hand a little bit more in the breakdown and um, you can continue to work with uh, various parts of the body in this fashion but for the purposes of this tutorial we'll just continue to start working now into the more detail of the breakdown so we'll move the character down a bit we'll um, uh, rotate him forward a little bit in the breakdown and we'll trail the hands a little bit like so and if I hit escape and hide the armatures you can now see that I have a breakdown that's a little bit more interesting than the original starting point of the scene.